Hey, thanks for stopping by. We are in week three of Weekly Bannies, and I am keeping up very well for the most part, I think. <laughs> um, so, yes, so this week was a little funky. I had Monday and Tuesday off from work. Monday was MLK Day. Tuesday, we actually had, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, but we actually had an ice day, um, like snowy ice day on Tuesday, so we got out of work. Um, we did have some snow flurries, which was very exciting. Um, we don't really have, I mean, our winter weather is like, it's basically, they don't know how to, not that they don't know how, but we don't have the infrastructure to like ice. Like, so when ice happens here, that's when the whole town basically shuts down. We don't have the, um, you know, the, the infrastructure and the tools to be able to like pre-treat all the, the ice. And it's just, we have overpasses that go like, you know, there's no way you can treat those kinds of things. So they basically just want people to stay off the road. So whenever we have a winter day, it's basically because the roads are iced over and they don't want anyone driving on the ice. And so that is what happened on Tuesday. We got to stay home and snuggle in beds because it was chilly and cold. And we did see a couple snowflakes fall from the sky, which very rarely happens here in Texas. So that was fun. Roxy's coming to hang out with us, yeah? Am I boring you? Oh, okay. You gonna come sit and watch videos? Cool. All right, so, um, so yeah, so like I, I, where that story was going was Monday and Tuesday, I didn't wear polish. Um, I did wear polish, did I wear polish? I wore polish on Tuesday, but I didn't wear polish on Monday because it was a holiday, so I gave myself another little break from nail polish. So we have Tuesday, um, and I did wear a polish yesterday, so Tuesday to Saturday this week. So we are going to go ahead and get started. First up is going to be a polish that I picked up um, not too long ago, maybe like a week or two ago, and I saw this on Instagram and just immediately was like, I have to have that. I think it's really pretty. Um, this is a Crelly mix from Painted Polish by Lexi, um, and this is called Winter's Dawn, and I'm too far away from the camera. Hang on. I'm too far away. I struggle, because like, I don't want to be like all up in your face, but I also need to like focus the thing. So we're gonna, I think this is working. Okay, so um, again, this is called Winter's Dawn, and this is a really pretty, um, it's a pale blue, come on, there we go. It's like a uh, pale blue, but it's got a little bit of gray to it, so it's a little bit more of a muted blue, but it's got this really pretty mixture of glitter in there. Uh, let's see here. There's some holographic glitter, there's some dark blue, there's some purple, I wanna say, there's some like teal, some light blue, a whole good like mixture of some like bluish and purpley type glitters. Hopefully I can get those in there because the lighting today is being kind of wonky because it's like rainy out. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty. Um, I enjoyed this. This does dry a little textured, so even with two layers of top coat on this, I still felt like it was a little rough to the touch, which is not usually my preference, um, but I did think this was very pretty. I thought the mixture of glitter and, and uh, base was really, really nice. Um, just like a really delicate kind of uh, like wintry, wintry day type manicure. So I thought that was really pretty. So I enjoyed that one. I just wish that the, uh, it wasn't as texture. I, I hate doing like more than two or three coats of top coat, but you know, it's fine. I'll, I'll make do because the color was pretty. So that again was called Winter's Dawn. And then the next day I got in another set, uh, I got in another polish that I picked up not too long ago. Um, this was featured first on, I wanna say, um, so you don't have to leave. You can stay, come on. I just don't want you making all that crazy noise. Um, this was featured not too long ago. Uh, Aaron from Paint Those Piggies was raving about it and so it was on my radar and then I saw a video from, uh, from Diane at Some Call Me Coco, um, or Diana, excuse me, um, and she talked about it, and so when I saw her talk about it, I was like, okay, I have to get this, and this um, is called Maleficent from Different Dimensions, and this usually wouldn't be something up my alley, because it's like a crazy, like, flaky glitter bomb of stuff, but this to me, as soon as I put it on my nails, it to me just screamed Mardi Gras. So um, this is a gorgeous, let's see here. I, it's a clear base, but it's just packed with, um, there's some cobalt blue, there's some gold. Uh, I wanna say there's some like tealy green in there. There's like hints of pink. Um, I mean, there's just so much going on in this polish. Let me get it to focus here. It is so, 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 so pretty. And to me, again, it just screams Mardi Gras for some reason. I just think it's like, 
oh, it's just all those colors that you associate with like that time of year and we're getting to be that time of year. So I think that was on my mind. Um, and these are all flakies. So I did wear a peel off base coat just to be on the safe side, but um, I feel like this is all, there's some flakies. I think there's some glitter. So I, the, the uh, removal on this might be a little, um, might be a little crazy, uh, but there are some, like you'll see there, there's some of those flakies, but a majority of this is glitter. So just keep that in mind. Um, this did dry a little textured for me. Again, I wore probably two coats of top coat. I probably just need to invest in a glitter food kind of top coat. Um, but still, I use pretty thick hand. I use a pretty thick hand with my top coats and I did two coats and it was still kind of um, textured. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this was gorgeous. I, oh, I really enjoyed that. I usually don't like super glitter bombs like this on my nails, but this Maybe it was because it dried a little textured. Maybe it just kind of like toned it down a little bit. But oh, thank you so much to Diana and Erin for featuring this polish because I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that is Different Dimensions Maleficent. And then next up, I decided I'm trying to do a stamp, uh, a nail stamp a week. Um, you know, at minimum, I'm trying to practice a little bit because for me, like, especially during the week when I just don't have a whole lot of time to paint my nails. If I've met, like I've mentioned in other videos, I basically, it's part of my nighttime ritual. I, you know, do all my nighttime, getting ready for bed type stuff. And then right before I'm about to go to bed, I paint my nails. And so I've gotten it down to almost a science. I paint my nails in about 15, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, and so when I want to add nail art, I don't want to add additional time on that. So for the most part, stamping is the quickest nail art that I can do. Gradients for me take forever. I'm always like, they're always messy. There's always a bunch of cleanup. Um, and I'm never a hundred percent sure that the gradient's going to turn out the way I want. And you know, like most of the time when I'm painting my nails at night, I just want to be done with it and go to bed. I don't have time to be like picking out color combinations. And so as much as I love gradient manicures, I don't always have a whole lot of time to do them. Um, and so this, that point of the story was just like nail stamping for me is the easiest nail art for me to do. And so I've been trying to practice. I feel like I'm getting better at it. I feel like the tools that I've purchased in the last couple months have definitely helped because I think I just had shitty products. Like the stamper I had before was kind of crappy. The scraper. I just, I feel like I've, I've kind of gotten it to down to a science to where I can just like do the stamp real quick and be done with it. I also don't stamp all of my nails. I like only having maybe like two stamps just so like the accents. Um, so that also helps with time. But anyway, I'm trying to do a stamp a week, trying to practice. So here's we go. That leads me into Thursday's polish. Um, I started out wanting kind of a neutral nail. I've worn a bunch of glitter, you know, as you can see from Tuesday and Wednesday. And so Thursday, I kind of wanted to wear something neutral. And so I started um, with Zoya, uh, with uh, Cirque's Dakota. And Dakota is just kind of a, it's a pale nude cream, but it's got like a hint of some pink in it. Um, not a whole lot. It's just like a little bit of pink. So it just kind of warms it up. It's, it's very skin tone. It's almost like a mannequin hands for me. This is pretty close to my, to my skin tone. So I wore this and then I started with a nail stamp, uh, or I started to do my nail stamp. Um, what did I do? What was the nail stamp I did? Uh, I don't remember the nail stamp I did. Oh, what did I do? Okay, anyway, sorry. So I did little flowers as a stamp. Um, I started using, uh, I wanted to use a polish I hadn't used before, so I started using uh, Zoya's Fallon, which came out in the Party Girls collection. It's this really pretty kind of like uh, uh, metallic kind of magenta color, um, and it was a little too thin, so I did use that on my ring finger, and it didn't turn out very opaque, um, and it also like kind of skipped in some places. So I switched over after that initial ring finger and moved over to Zoya's Vanessa, which is just a kind of just berry, just a berry kind of red color. It leans, it's kind of in between like red and uh, like a red and purple, but it's very heavily red. Um, so I used that for the remainder of my nails and that worked out much better. Um, this was the first time I used a um, non stamping polish. So um, I was a little hesitant on trying it out to see if it would work because the other stamps I've done in the past have been like actual stamping polishes. Um, so this was the first round with a non stamper. So it actually turned out pretty well. I just need to make sure it's a thick opaque polish. I think Fallon was just a little too thin. So this worked out um, and it turned out pretty well. Um, problem is, is Dakota, I feel like around this time of year, nude polishes for me, just they bring out, you know, this time of year, it's cold, it's dry. You're all trying to like moisturize the hell out of our hands. And so for some reason, whenever I wear nude polishes during the during this time of year, I just feel like they make my nails look so, not my nails, but like my cuticles just look so dry and gross. So I don't even think I posted this manicure on Instagram. Um, and I'm going to have to like, 
you know, filter the hell out of my cuticles for this swatch photo because like, it just, my, my cuticles just looked so ragged and dry and normally they don't look like that because I try to keep, I mean, it's, they, they're going to look like that for a little bit just because it's that time of year, but I keep, try to keep them moisturized for the most part. Uh, but for some reason, this like exacerbated it and just made them look like 20 times worse. So I normally like this color, but right now at this time of the year, it just did not, it wasn't really nice on my nails. So, um, but I did, I do like, I did like the way the manicure turned out. I just didn't like the way my hands looked. So that is Dakota from Cirque. And then I, so Thursday night when I was painting my nails, um, I was watching some videos from Jody's Polish and she had just done a um, haul from Zoya and she was mentioning that she had picked up a couple pixie dusts in hopes of stamping with them. And so that gave me the idea of maybe trying to do a stamp. Man, I just made my nose so red. Sorry. Um, so I, that gave me the idea to try and do some stamping over some pixie dust polishes. So I didn't want to totally copy her because she had gotten NYX, London, and I think she got another one, but I don't remember which one. Um, but I have NYX in London, and so that was in my brain, And but I didn't want to totally copy her, so I tried to hold off on not using NYX or London. Um, and so I went with this one, which is not totally seasonally appropriate, but it's purple, so I feel like this week was a little, no, I guess I wasn't. I don't know. I feel like I wear a lot of purple polish. I keep, I know, I know it's my favorite color, but now that I have a channel, I'm trying to like diversify some of my colors, but like purple's always just like my go-to color. So, um, I didn't mean to pick out this one, but it worked out in the, you know, it worked out. So this is a uh, Zoya Stevie, which is a really gorgeous kind of, uh, like lavender color and it's got this really beautiful silver shimmer that runs throughout which is super apparent on the nail when it dries down which is one of my favorite like if I'm gonna wear these textured polishes the glitter that's in here has to be super apparent and so that is definitely the case I think this the silver in this just looks gorgeous and so I stamped over this which is the basic I, I didn't want to I wasn't hundred percent sure how this was gonna turn out on a textured polish so I did use a white stamping polish from uh, I want to say, did I get them from Bundle Monster? I think I got them from Bundle Monster. So I just used a basic white stamping polish, um, and I did like a little like swirly type design, and they turned out pretty well. I mean, you have to keep in mind that since it's textured, there are going to be some like sparse parts here and there, just because you know that's the way the nail polish dries. So it didn't turn out super crisp, but I think that's just the way that it's going to turn out. Um, and so I thought this turned out really well. I thought it looked really nice. I was pleasantly surprised about stamping on a pixie dust. So I really, really enjoyed that that manicure. I thought it turned out really well. So really enjoyed that one. And then I didn't want to totally feature for, I wanted to like throw in one extra nail polish this week just because I didn't wear one on Monday. Um, so I did wear one last night and this one is one of my favorites. Like this, I love, love, love this polish so much. And this is from Femme Fatale. And I don't think you can get this anymore, which makes me sad that I'm gonna feature it, but I love this so much. So this is called, my label has fallen off, but I believe it's called End of the Storm. If it's not, I will annotate it here, but um, End of the Storm is one of my favorite thermal polishes from Femme Fatale. And this is, um, again, it's a kind of medium, like grape purple, but it has this gorgeous flash in there. And the flash is, what color are you? It's kind of like a gold coppery flash. Um, and then there's also some pieces of holographic glitter in there. And this, um, again, like I said, it's a thermal, so it dries when it dries, uh, not when it dries, when it's warm, it's like this kind of pale gold color. And then when it's cold, it um, shifts to this color purple. Oh, I just think this is so pretty. The, the transition between the two colors, I think is just so, so beautiful. I love this purple, the way that it hit, that, the way that that purple looks, with the uh, with the shift that's in here and then the holographic glitter, I just, oh, it's so gorgeous. This is probably like, out of all my thermals, like my Femme Fatale thermals, um, I don't know. I'd say all of my thermals, even my Cirque ones. Um, this one's by far my favorite one. I just, I think it's so pretty. I love it so much. So that is End of the Storm from Femme Fatale. And we're all done. I had a great polish week. Sorry, last week that, I'm sorry last week's was so like, but I just, somebody mentioned it was winter blues, which could have totally been it. Um, and I also just, uh, I don't know. Something about last week was, I was not feeling those polishes, but this week I had a great one, great polish picks. Um, I was happy with all of them. I thought all of them turned out well besides the one nude polish, but I think that was just mostly cause my 
I don't I wouldn't blame that on the polish I would just blame that on you know the time of year um, but I loved all of my manicures last week which is awesome so how are your manicures how are you faring the winter weather I know it's not as cold here as other places um, so I'm sure you guys are dealing with you know dry skin and all that stuff if there are do you guys have go-to like hand lotions um, you know like cuticle oils what are you guys like what are your go-to stuff for this time of year for me as long as I am consistently lotioning my hands and using some type of cuticle or some kind of lotion I feel like for the most part it's not super cold here so I can get by with just making sure I'm I just have to make sure I'm lotioning every day if I'm not you know, if I wash my hands, I have to put lotion on. I can't skip because then my hands will get really dry, especially like in between my um, fingers is where I get it really bad. So I just have to be mentally aware of just like always putting lotion on. And for me, the, it's not as cold here, so I don't have to like stress out about it. But I know in other parts of, you know, where it gets really cold, I'm sure you guys have like, you know, thicker lotions that you guys have to use so let me know what you guys are using or that you use every single winter to keep your hands looking good. Um, and let's just share I would love to get I don't like I said I don't have any like go-to stuff but I'm always on the lookout so what are you guys using how were your manicures this week I would love to hear it I would love to find out what you guys have been loving what you guys have been getting um, so yeah just talk to me let me know what you guys thoughts are I thank you so much for watching and have a great one bye